There are a whole lot of people who have access to children and a whole lot of people who have abused that trust over the years. Priests, teachers, coaches, police officers. Today's case has to do with a teacher and her husband, a sheriff's deputy, and the terrible crimes they committed against kids. The most headline grabbing of which was that Cynthia Perkins laced some cupcakes with the semen of her husband, Dennis Perkins. It turns out, as these things go, that not only is this true, Dennis Perkins videotaped the mixing of the nasty batch of batter, but there is a whole lot more going on. The whole semen angle did make for some catchy headlines, but lost the remainder of the story. Cynthia Perkins was a junior high school teacher in Livingston Parish, Louisiana. She, along with her then-husband, Dennis Perkins, were into abusing kids. She blames it on her husband, of course, but her family would tell the court that she is horrible and manipulative. So take her blaming another with a grain of salt. It was only after police raided her home that she resigned her position. Her husband was immediately fired as well. Among evidence seized in that raid was a photograph of the couple posing nude with a child. More than 2,600 other photos and 300 videos. Victims included two children, two adults, and if that's not vile enough, a dog. She and her husband were charged with more than 100 combined offenses that included producing child pornography, second-degree rape, and mingling of harmful substances. The harmful substances being the semen she mixed into cupcakes before baking them and feeding them to her students. In a deal with prosecutors, she admitted to filming a child in the bath, helping her child rape a young child who was nine or 10 years old and the cupcake incident. To keep the plea agreement, she also agreed to testify against her ex-husband but that was not necessary in the end. She would be sentenced to 41 years in prison without parole in February 2022. In Louisiana, they can still sentence people to hard labor, which she was, and I'm not sure how much sympathy should be had, really. She'll be 77 if she lives to see the end of her sentence. Her husband, Dennis Wallace Perkins, was a Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office SWAT member. In January 2023, he was sentenced to 100 years prison and will die there, unlikely to reach the age of 147. He pleaded guilty to one count of second-degree rape, two counts of sexual battery on a child, one count of video voyeurism, two counts of production of child pornography, and one count of mingling harmful substances. He will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life in the event that he is ever somehow paroled. You would think that would be enough, but no, no. There was a third person involved in the case, Melanie Curtin. She was sentenced to life in prison after a jury found her guilty of aggravated rape and video voyeurism in December 2021. She had been Dennis's lover and her charges involved the rape of an adult. At least it wasn't a child victim. Not that that makes it much better. We sincerely hope that the children and the others affected by these monsters get the support and the care that they need to get beyond what happened. There are ongoing civil suits against the Perkinses, which we expect will be resolved in the favor of the plaintiffs, given the guilty pleas in the criminal cases. If you have any concerns that someone is interfering with children in any way, please contact your local police or, in the U.S., the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The more people who predate on children behind bars, the better. Predators should get a clear message that society will not tolerate crimes against children. Thank you for listening, and until next Thursday. If you're enjoying these videos and want more, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. 
so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it.